local groups are preparing to fight a brand new city ordinance requiring earthquake warning placards on hundreds of unreinforced buildings right here in Portland. And they're holding a rally tomorrow at City Hall protesting those new warning signs. More than 1,600 brick structures are affected, everything from churches to music venues to affordable housing. Our Emily Burris is live in Northeast Portland tonight outside one of those buildings. Yeah, Dan, Jennifer, think about it. These older, historic-looking brick buildings, they're a staple in a lot of Portland neighborhoods. Well, now a new city ordinance would require those warning signs be posted in a very prominent place, uh, warning that this building could collapse in the case of an earthquake. Take a look at a mock-up here. I want to show you what one of these signs might look like. Uh, this was a design provided to me today by one of the groups that's going to be attending Saturday's uh, rally here, that rally happening in front of City Hall. Uh, and now owners worry that uh, essentially by putting these up, installing these at buildings, they're going to affect these businesses in a few ways. Businesses, concrete churches, uh, even some affordable housing could be financially impacted here. And that's why the Portland branch of the NAACP is joining several other groups in uh, urging the city to reconsider. They say that this is hitting the African American community in Northeast Portland particularly hard. This, this affects our community in ways that um, are inconceivable. This puts the nail in the coffin for gentrification of the north, northeast part, uh, Portland area. Owners worry that by giving notice, they're not going to be able to secure future funding for their properties to make improvements or even to, in some cases, make these reinforcements. And they worry that that could force them to sell these structures and, and make them a target for developers. Again, the NAACP is joining several other groups, including Music Portland, uh, on the steps of City Hall tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in, in protest of this ordinance. And I also spoke uh, with the owner of this venue here, the Laurel Thirst pub, a popular music venue. We'll hear more on the impact what this could have for Portland's music scene coming up on the news at five. Tonight we're live in Northeast Portland. Emily Burris, Coin 6 News. Yes.